Hello guys and welcome to tutorial number 8 from Working with Photoshop. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make your own brushes with the pen tool. First you want to create a new file by pressing Ctrl N. If you want a big high quality brush make sure your width is very high and your height is very high. So I set them both to 1800 pixels and press OK. Alright, now there's your first layer. Make sure you make the background white. Then place a new layer on top of it. The reason why I have a white background is because the brush we are going to make has to be black. If your brush is fully black, it will be 100% visible. If your brush is totally white, it will be 100% transparent. If your brush is a bit dark gray, then it will be a bit transparent. So just play with those colors. I'll just pick black first and I'll go to my pen tool or P. Then I'm going to click right here and then click and drag right here. So you make a nice rounded curve. And I'll just leave it this way and I'll click back and hold and drag. So it will create a kind of a leaf. Then click here again and maybe click here and click to the begin point and just release. Then you have your next leaf. Click again and click here. Well it's just an example. You could always take more time and do it much better than I do. And click here. And click here, and click here. And for the last leaf, click here, here, and keep on dragging till you get a right good looking shape. Click to the begin and drag again. Just drag it anywhere to see what looks nice. I'll just leave it this way. Alright, with your pen tool selected now, right click on the stroke pad and click on make selection. Your feather radius has to be 0 pixels, because if I set it to 10 pixels, it will get a blurry corner and I don't want that. So press OK. And with your layer 2 selected, set your background to black. So switch this and press Ctrl delete. Now you have some kind of a flower, but it's not that nice yet. So I will adjust the size, so press Ctrl T and just drag on one of the corners to make your brush bigger. Okay, and now place a layer on top of it. And maybe you want to click on layer two to make your entire brush a bit transparent. So fill it maybe to 66% and if your brush is a bit grey and you'll define it later it will be a bit transparent so if I now click on layer 3 and go to my brushes and select the starry brushes alright click on it they are really small so I'll just adjust the size to maybe some bigger 112 pixels ok go to my brush preset to make the shattering a lot more alright now click this box away and if you now put stars on it stars will be everywhere so I'm just gonna control Z and I want them only inside of the brush so, control click on the layer 2 thumbnail, but leave your layer 3 selected. Then maybe set your foreground to black, so the stars will be fully visible. This is just an example, you can always do it better. Alright, control D to deselect. And now your brush is almost ready. Now, 
you want to merge layer 2 and layer 3 together. So, with layer 3 selected, control click on layer 2, so they will be both selected, and press control E to merge them together. Now go to edit, define brush preset, and there's your new brush with a high quality and resolution. You could name it anything you like, I'll just name it flower1, press ok, and now I have my new brush, but I'll show you that in a new file. Go to file, new, and I'll set my width to 1280 and my height to 800. Now my flower is really big, so I just adjust the size to 494 pixels. And if I now click somewhere, I have a brush which is slightly transparent. So I'll just set this layer to white, so press Ctrl Delete and place a new layer on top of it and maybe make my brush red. Now just click anywhere and you have a red brush. Also what you can do is go to your brush again, maybe double click on the layer and give it a drop shadow. So click on drop shadow and maybe set the size to around 114 pixels. Press OK and edit define brush preset and I'll call it flower 2. OK. Now I'll go to my new layer and just adjust the size to 473 pixels and now it will be more shiny. Alright that was it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something from it. And I hope to see you soon in the next tutorial.